Hi everyone and welcome back to another cafe hopping vlog. This time I will show you the more traditional cafes in Vienna because we have quite a few of them and I thought it would be cool to show you the more traditional Viennese cafes and we are starting at Cafe Landmann which you can see behind me. Let's go! I would say this is a newer, more traditional um, cafe. They got the prize for the best Krapfen and the Krapfen is basically a donut filled with apricot jam and it's made during the carnival season in Austria and they won the best one in Vienna so we are gonna try that now. That's the Krapfen and they also have the best macarons in Vienna, so we got two. I think this is cinnamon and this is chestnut. But my favorite, I have never tried these two before, but I really like the chocolate one and the orange one. I got ginger lemon tea. I just have a few words about the cup. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how it tastes like, but it is really small compared to the other croppens we ate in Upper Austria. Yeah, that's true. But that's just my first impression. Maybe it tastes super, super good. I don't know. It's a smaller cup. Normally they are quite big. This is a little it's one. Really little. Yeah. But I'm very curious about the taste. And actually you have to bite it from the hole. Do you see that? Let's try. Yum. It's good. <laughs> it's 
good, but I can't really taste a big difference from other cups I had before, so yeah, but it's good. Let's try this cinnamon macaron. <laughs> it's very cinnamony. I like it. And this is chestnut. <laughs> Mm. Mm. They taste both very good. If you see a line in front of the cafe in Vienna, it will probably be this place. We are at Cafe Saint Jacques right now and there is always a line. There is no line anywhere else in the city, like no cafes have a line in front of them, but this one always has a line. I hope you can hear me because it's very loud here. We are gonna have something savory to eat here because we had a lot of sweets, so we need something salty. Cafe Saint-Hart is one of the most touristy ones, I would say. And it's a very traditional and older one because the history goes back to 1876. So it's a very old cafe. And I'm excited to try their food because I never had their food before. Yeah, let's see. lunch at Café Central. I couldn't talk inside because it was very full and loud. No. It was very loud. Um, 
Café Central is one of the more traditional and touristy ones. I think it's the most touristy one of them all because there is always a queue in front of it. And we waited for about 20 minutes, I would say. It was not too bad. I think normally you have to wait way longer. The queue was much longer now when we left the cafe. We had goulash and um, black candle salad. It's a salad with crispy chicken. Yeah. And the chicken was very big. Like the portions were quite big. But it was very, very good. Like both dishes tasted really good. And the atmosphere is really nice. Older man was playing the piano. It was really amazing. So if you're in Vienna, you should definitely check it out. But yeah, be aware that there will be a queue. Yeah. Now we are off to our next stop and we will have something sweet. Here they make Kaiserschmarrn and you can take them to go. dumplings with stewed plums and Daria will try it. Do you want to zoom in? We had some knödels with nougat filling and um, stewed plums. No, I think it was stewed berries at Demel. And there was also a queue, but it was not that bad. I think we only waited for a few minutes. Yeah. Sometimes there will be a queue at Demel, at Sacha. But there will always be a queue at Café Central. The Landmann is much bigger than the other one, so I don't think you will wait too long for that one. And you can also book a table there. I don't think you can book a table at Café Central, only if you are a bigger group. But you can check it out on the website. I will link them all down below. And now I'm very full. but. We will go to our last stop, which is something small, but I really wanted to include it in this video because it's a must and it's one of my favorites, so let's go!
but there is the cafe Sache and there is also the newer one Sache Eck there you can also have the Sache Torte and the like different kinds of desserts and coffee and also the shop and there is also the shop in it where you can buy everything like the Sache Torte and you will most probably find a space here because it's I think it's a little bit bigger than <laughs> than the Cafe Saka but the Cafe Saka is the more traditional one and the, like the main spot but I also like the newer spot the Saka Ek just so you know Normally you eat the Saka cake, the Saka torte, but I think you can see that everywhere. So we got the Saka buffel, which is a little bit smaller, but it tastes exactly the same. Let me show you. Cube. Cube, yes. Very cute. And I love this. Saka torte is actually my favorite cake ever. Should I bite this? <laughs> Yum. Mm. This is so moist and soft and chocolatey. I love it. I actually like the cube version a little bit more than the cake version. So if you have a sweet tooth you should definitely try a soccer cake like it's a must when you're in vienna you have to come here and try their soccer torte or the cubes we finished the cafe hopping vlog at the traditional cafes in vienna i hope you liked it we have a lot of cafes in vienna also traditional ones like very old ones and all of them are great i just wanted to show you my favorite ones i will also link a few more down below so you can check them out and to be honest i can't really choose a favorite because i like them all and i like different things at different cafes for example i like the kaisersmann at landmann and at demel the most but i like the Sache Torte at Cafe Sache the most so you really have to try and see which one you like more. Landmann for example has the biggest cake selection but also like Apfelstrudel and Kaiserschmann and the dumplings are very delicious. I really love the nougat dumplings at Demö today so yeah just try and see what you like in which of them and also the staff was very friendly everywhere we went today they were super smiley and positive like i loved them because that's also not always the case everywhere so i wanted to mention that i hope you like my cafe hopping vlog in vienna with the traditional cafes if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me and write down below which of them you like the most hi thank you Come for down, please <laughs> thank you for being a part of today's video oh, and for, <laughs> for sharing the food with me and um, i was happy but yeah. the food was what was your favorite today i don't know i can't choose one it was also good yeah it was really good Everything was very delicious, like we were very lucky with the food today, mm -hmm. so I think we are all happy.
Do you um, want to say something? Bye. The only <laughs> thing is the first coffee I drank. drank? The the Einspanner. The Einspanner. It wasn't that good for me. I don't like whipped cream. I yeah. drink only espresso or coffee black. <laughs> but I don't know why I have ordered that. I don't know. Americano. She wants to <laughs> yeah. try something different, but we all like black coffee. Like we are not very into trying different sorts of coffee, like with milk and you know lattes. Yes. Yeah. Too heavy for me. yeah, so yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> see you. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys and see you next time. Bye bye.